Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you today how to make a Thanksgiving turkey out of gum paste. Okay, if you see any tools or supplies that I'm using that you think you could use too, if you check the link in the description below, it should be able to help you out. I am going to start making my little Thanksgiving Day turkey with this red gum paste that I rolled out to a pretty thin, not too thin, but pretty thin it's thickness. And I'm using that little leaf cutter you see there to cut out just a bunch of uh, leaves. I'm gonna turn them into tail feathers. So I need to print them out and um, give them time to dry a little bit so they'll stick up and not just wilt over. I put a couple of lines down the center and as you can see, I'm using my knife to make some lines up and down the sides just to kind of make it look a little more feathery. Um, or leafy, you know, it still kind of looks like a leaf, but we're going to pretend they're feathers. All right, so I did it with a bunch of them because I wasn't really sure how many feathers I would need. I wasn't too sure how, you know, the turkey's little hiney would come out. So better to have and not need, right? I'm doing the same thing. I've got a taller, longer shape um, leaf cutter there. And this is maroon that I'm using instead of red. I figured, you know, little, little autumn colors, throwing them in there, get a little pop of the red, make it stand out. Should be good. I figured these would be the accent feathers to go in the back so I wouldn't need as many. So I only made three of them. Okay, as I'm reviewing this video and I'm doing this editing, I thought I had an orange on the counter. I forgot. It was my orange ball of gum paste that I started out with to make the body of the turkey. Uh, I started with the ball, as you saw, and then pulled up that part, that skinny part in the center to become more like a neck. I cut off the bottom because it was just too big. I felt like it was, it was just too big. I trimmed off the top to make it nice and flat. So I've got a nice flat top, nice flat bottom, nice, you know, almost severe pear shape going on there. Stick a lollipop stick straight down the center of it. I want to say this is an eight inch one. And now I've got it in a block of styrofoam to hold it. And I'm going to work from there. Now I've got some more maroon gum paste. This is all gum paste, by the way. And I'm going to make the head of the turkey out of this. So I kind of started with the ball there, as you saw. I made it more into, I don't even know, a flat on the bottom, round on the top. See, it kind of like, like, almost like a light bulb, sort of. And then when I get it to a nice size and shape, stick it on top and, and very gently and carefully, you know, make uh, the, the neck seam merge together. And I'm only doing that by just kind of rubbing it between my fingers. I'm not like pulling one color down onto the other. I wanted to try to keep a nice clean line. This is some light brown gum paste that I'm using, and I just happen to have a star cutter. I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to make the feet out of a star, see what happens with that. And I think it came out pretty well, I got to say. I made the star, cut off the bottom, so I'm left with the three points at the top. And then I was like, what do I do with this now? I'm not really sure. So I tried doing this. <laughs> I used my knife to make a line going up each toe from the center. And even though I did that, I kind of wish I hadn't because if anything, I feel like it made it more look like a duck's webbed feet rather than just little turkey toes. But since that's all I did to it, I just ignored it and stuck it on and called it good. I'm using the small ball side of my ball tool there to make a couple indentations on the side of the head, not the front, on the side. And I'm putting a little ball of black gum paste into each one. Those are going to be my turkey's little eyeballs. And I don't know if you can see, but in the front there, I kind of made a little flat spot. That's where the beak is going to attach. And I don't know what happened. I didn't show that. So I'm sorry for that. All right. I'm using some gray gum paste right here. I rolled it kind of thin, as you can see, almost like a teardrop sort of, but longer, you know. And I'm making a bunch of lines in it with my X-Acto knife and trimmed off the bottom. This is going to be that little tuft that sits on the front of male turkey's chests. No idea what it's called. I'm sure it has a name. But that's what I did. So I stuck it on, on the front of his little belly there. I'm adding a little white highlight to each of his eyes. Just a little piece of white gum paste. Just carefully put into place. And now I am moving on to his wings. I have that same maroon color. And I rolled out two circles or cut out two circles as you see there. I took a nip out of each side of the circle to um, make it more skinny at the top and then a little longer and flared out at the bottom. And I'm going to give his wings a stripe. So I rolled out some gray. It's a light gray this time. Nice and long, very thin, as thin as I could do it. And I'm putting it onto the wing and then just curving it around, as you see. I used a paintbrush with a little bit of water to attach it. And just trim it off, wrap around the side so you don't have a rough edge anywhere. And do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to add a little bit of water. Take that long, thin, thin piece of gum paste. It's really thin. Did I mention it's thin? 
and have it overlap and then trim it off, wrap it around the edge so there's no rough edge sticking off, no, no scraggly edge. And now I'm using the back of my paintbrush to make two indentations to kind of separate it out to give the idea of feathers, <laughs> you know, like a bunch of feathers coming together or hands, you know, however you want to look at it. I'm using my knife blade to add some lines going up and down it to try to make it look more like, you know, striated wing kind of thing. And then just stick them on your turkey. I'm having them kind of hang down and kind of be more relaxed and floppy. Put them wherever you want, however you think looks nice. I have them, as you can see, kind of going back a little bit. And I tried to curve the back of the wings up a bit, but it kind of uh, relaxed over time and I didn't care. So I, I didn't fight it. I didn't fight the powers that be, you know, gravity. All right, with the yellow gum paste here, I rolled out a little tiny cone, make it nice and small, stick it right on his cute little face right in the center of that little depression I had made. All I did to make that depression was just, you know, push on his face with my thumb. And there you go. See, cute little turkey. Here's another piece of red. Make it into very much a teardrop face. Lay it over his beak, and now you've got his little, is it a waddle? I'm not even sure what it is. This little red turkey flap thing. It's the turkey flap. There you go. Looking good, right? Okay, we got to keep on going. Now we're going to take those feathers that we made earlier. They had a little time to set. Not a ton of time, but a little bit of time. And I'm going to start sticking them on his rump. I thought originally I would do four red and then do the three of the taller purple in between. But... It didn't work out that way. <laughs> He's a little bit smaller than I anticipated. So I only used three of the red feathers, as you see. Adding, So I'm going to add two of the taller purple feathers that I made. And I was concerned because I'm like, is it going to look weird without something sticking up in the center, like just a tall central point? But when you see him from the front, you realize you can't even see through his big old head. So it it not bad right like you could add more feathers if you want do it if you want I didn't I also ended up supporting it with a couple of my um, containers of food coloring that you'll see right there see that they were holding the feathers in place till they harden now that black flat circle is going to be his little hat the circle that I cut out was the brim this cylinder that I'm making I'm trying to make it nice and sharp and straight is going to be the tall part of the hat see like that yes yes I took it off his head to work with because it was becoming a little difficult. I took some of that gray that I hadn't put away, so you can see how stiff it's become already. But I'm going to use that to make the band of his hat. So wrap it around after you get a nice size. You don't want it too thick. You want your the band of the hat to be a little on the thinner side. So when you add your buckle to it, your buckle's what's going to really stand out. So I took some of the same yellow from his beak, made a nice square, took a tiny square of that same light gray because it was going to be impossible for me to hollow out a little square in the center. I am not that good. Stick it on with a little bit of water and you got yourself a little pilgrim hat, right? Like how traditional is that? A little bit of water, put his cap on top and there you go. Got yourself a nice little pilgrim tom turkey. You could stop here if you want. I went a little further with it just because it's 2020 and why not, right? Why not make every aspect of every holiday we celebrate this year laced and tainted with, with what's going on in the world? So I took out my blue gum paste, my light blue. I cut out that rectangle, as you see, and put two lines in it just using my knife. Just be careful you don't cut through. Wrapped it over his beak. As you see, I took off his little turkey flap. That's the name now I gave it. And I'm going to make a mask out of it, if you couldn't have figured that out already. All right, so I've got the blue on his face. I have white that I rolled out super skinny, and I cut out two teeny little lines. They're hard to see, but there they are. Real long, and those are going to become the laces of his little mask. So I am using some water. Wrap it around his head. I'm going underneath his eye. The location of his eye kind of messes up where you would normally put the straps because he's a bird and not a person but you work with it right so I go under the eye go down the side of the mask as you can see I had put water along there too so it would stick and just tearing off the back tearing off the extra gum paste in the back doing the same thing on the other side I put water down the side of the mask and then you fight with it for a while until it sticks wrap it around the head tear off the extra in the back and you're off to a pretty decent start. Then you got to do it at the bottom. Same idea. Try to get those bends in there so your corners are a little sharp. 
I tried. It was hard, I gotta admit, but it didn't come out too bad. You know, do the best you can. Add a little stripe of white gum paste to the bottom of the mask and the top. The bottom was super difficult to do because I couldn't really see. But again, I did the best I can. Tear it off. Add a little bit of water. Blend in your corners. Just kind of press them down however you need to. Clean up any mess you made, which is what happened there. And then you can't forget the last little piece de resistance. Put his little turkey flap back and have it coming out over top the mask. And there you go, right? So it's kind of cute kind of silly. Don't need it, but why not? You know, it's friggin' 2020. All right, I'm just going to show you him sitting on a cake. I have a cake dummy here that I'm just playing with. I put a little bit of gum paste, or excuse me, this is fondant. Jeez, you cover a cake with fondant, not gum paste. Oh my goodness. Uh, I had some leftover green that I mixed some copper in and kind of made it kind of an autumn-y swirly moss thing going on. I don't know. I kind of liked it. I didn't want to do an orange or yellow or brown because the turkey's colors would lose their effect. He would just kind of blend in with the cake. So that's why I chose this green color, this subdued green color. And again, this is just a cake dummy. I just did it just so it would look a little nicer and you could get the idea of it. So once you have your cake, put it on your cake plate if it's not there already. Stick your little turkey on top. And in order to give him a little bit more of a decoration, I happen to have some um, orange and yellow little flowers that I just sprinkled around him on top. And it makes for a cute little effect, right? So there you go. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because I find that helpful. I got lots of other videos out there, so please check those out. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.